We don't always get mods on Saturdays, but today we've got one. Hey, uh, what's going on, everybody? DJ Gohammer here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19 on a Saturday. Your new mod today for all platforms is the Komatsu PC300 from Pepe978 and the FSI modding team. This is a Komatsu Crawler Excavator. It does have a forestry processor, but it does come with a shovel. This mod is very interesting because you can't take the shovel off, but the excavator, the forest processor, plops it on the front. It's real neat. I got to show you guys how it works because it is so cool. The price is going to be $195,000. Power? Well, 242 horsepower. It's plenty to do what you need to do. 535 liters of fuel, 8 miles per hour. It's a little slow. I think it's at 6 on mine accident, or actually. And then 4,000 liter capacity on the bucket. We have two designs. We have the Komatsu Forest and Komatsu Excavator. So basically, do you want white logos or do you want blue logos? And then we get our forestry processor, the C114X. This bad boy right here is gonna cost you $8,500, so it's not too bad. But like I said, this, it just kind of goes bloop right on. You can see right here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this. Let's turn on our help window so you can see what we're doing here. Let's jump in, we'll move it. I mean, this, this moves very normal to pretty much everything else that we've got uh, i will say that it's a little bit interesting when it moves around uh it's not exactly attached in but you know what that's okay whatever with this when we drop it the bucket just reappears and then when we're ready you know you move away from it come back to it Bloop. i've never seen that before i don't know how they did that i don't i don't understand but I like it, and that's really all that matters. <laughs> so, how about we try and uh, use these a little bit? Let's check these out. So the controls on this bad boy are pretty normal. You've got your bucket, and it has the same front loading and adjustments that I have not become accustomed to in Farm Sim. As you can see, dumps in, works great. I will say that when I made this, <laughs> yikes. That when I made this dump pile uh, right here for the manure, um, I actually haven't been able to get this to give me any of this manure. I don't know why. Uh, there's got to be something I'm doing wrong. Maybe I've got a mod conflict of some sorts. But uh, I can say that at least with the F11, uh, this works just fine. So if we go through here, we find manure, boom, it does pop it in. So uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. That's probably some type of, um, you know, something that I've got going on in my end. So don't worry too much about that, but you don't, it works. I will say it's a little difficult, a little tough getting to start off, but it does get moving. As you can see, a little slippy slip, that's all right. It's a pretty cool machine. And here we're gonna set up some forestry. So let's jump in here, let's turn it on. And we've got our header right here. So we're just going to drive up to it. Just kind of get close-ish, give us a thing, bloop got it and this should work exactly like you guys are used to we'll turn on the harvester head we are going to set our cut length to four meters today we'll come over here and grab hold of our first tree let's see if we can actually do this the right way <laughs> i tell you what with the uh rot in the dlc that just released i tried real hard to get good at logging and it's just not my thing <laughs> all right so we've got this let's pull it back these are some big trees here on the Pacific Northwest. Timber! Poof. And then cut. A mm, little bit. <laughs> it's... Well, you know, it sits in there a little bit. Uh, it's a little... Uh, let's see, can we, can we shake this thing to... Nope. <laughs> I'm glad we always find the mods like this. So there you go. Is it gonna drop back down? Yeah, it drops back down. You know what? We we got we got a cut that we needed. We I. The interior of the machine is exactly how you would expect. It looks awesome in here. Everything is a looking good. If we peek around, you can see we've got some controls for different temperature modes and things like that on the one side. If we turn it on, you can see all of our dials jump up. We've got I expected the gas brake to actually work. Huh, interesting. Uh, we do have our turning, so you can see how that works. You can either use your hands or your feet with the turning. So that is all good. Moving around, you can see, <laughs> yikes. 
you can see all of our uh, gauges in here, all of the uh, joysticks and things, they all work exactly the way you would expect for them to. And we've even got air ride suspension, which is a good thing when I'm inside of an excavator. And there you go. I think if we've learned anything today, it's don't let DJ operate heavy machinery. <laughs> if you agree with me, let me know down in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed this new mod on a Saturday. If you did, make sure you drop a like, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, enjoy the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. We got some more stuff planned for you today, so stay tuned. Otherwise, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.